In the almost 20 years of World of Warcraft's existence, we have fought against hundreds of enemies. Some live in infamy, others not so much. But the Manted are by far some of the most creative world building done in the Warcraft universe, and I feel like they never really got the respect they deserve. Deep in the lands that would later be called Pandaria, the Manted have resided as far back as the primordial times on Azeroth. They originated from the Akir, a type of old god insectoid that evolved into the mantis-like beings who have swarmed over Azeroth. One of the most important roles in Manted society is the Empress. From her, thousands of Manted are spawned, whose only purpose is to devour. Their insatiable hunger even leading them to consume the weak among their race. Every 100 years, new Manted are spawned, and with their Empress's song, they are guided to consume every one and everything in their wake. This is the main reason why the Great Wall was built in Pandaria by the Mogu. But they forgot one crucial detail. Uh, yeah, the, the Manted can fly. We are the extension of our Empress's will. Ours is but to serve in her divine name. Never to question nor to contemplate. We simply act. We fight, toil, and serve so that her vision for us is made reality. Her happiness is our reward, her sorrow our failure. We will give our lives for the Empress without hesitation. She is the light, and without her, our lives will be lost to darkness. To outsiders, they only know the Manted for these horrific invasions every 100 years. Those ignorant would assume that they're trying to kill off every last remnant of life. But the unique thing about the Manted is that isn't really the case. Huh? You see, the main reason for the swarms is to cull the weak from their empire. Those not fit for Manted society will die and only the strong will return. This has made the Manted stronger with each passing cycle, and they become a bigger and bigger threat to those around them. Those that return are integrated into the caste system of their society, which is led by a council called the Kalaxi. The Kalaxi are Manted elders and protectors of culture who focus on the long-term health of the Empire. They even hold power over the Empress, who doesn't live forever, and they ensure the transfer of power from one Empress to the next. This process involves a trial by combat where the competing queens fight to the death and the victor devours the defeated, passing down a long line of power in the hundreds of generations of the Mantid's existence. A core part of Manta's society and religion relates to the Kapari Amber Trees. Each tree is a sacred holy site for the Mantid, and they harvest its amber to create weapons, art, armor, and architecture. They even use the sap from the trees to place powerful Mantid warriors in stasis. These legends of old are called the Paragons and are broken free during dire situations for the Empire. Another advantage these insects have is their acute sense of hearing. The Mantid can communicate over incredibly long distances and can hear even the most minute sounds of trespassers entering their lands. There has never been an army that has successfully surprised the Mantid. For the Empress! During the events of the Mist of Pandaria expansion, the Manted Swarm surprised the Pandaren by starting their swarm a decade early and being the largest assault in the entire history of Azeroth. This is partly because the current Empress and many of her children have been corrupted by the Shaw of Fear. The Shaw of Fear is one of the seven ghostly remnants of the slain old god, Yasharaj. The Manted pray for the Old God's return, but they do not worship the Shah, who has only brought destruction to their race. To the Shah of Fear, the Manted are only a tool to spread its influence, which has driven the corrupted Manted into insanity, and are sending their entire empire into the carnage of war in the process. These enraged Manted even broke the Serpent Shrine Wall with their monolithic creatures called the Kanchong. These beasts consume everything in their path, leaving a scar through the land from its devastation. 
The mantid fall behind it, then harvest amber-colored waste it secretes, and they create buildings and furniture from the poop. Yeah, you can find some pretty weird stuff if you actually read archaeology descriptions. Now, not all of the mantid are corrupted. The Kalaxi still have level-headed minds and begrudgingly ally with the Alliance and Horde to help stop their corrupted Empress. Throughout the expansion, player characters farm reputation with the Kalaxi and awaken ancient Paragon warriors who then become quest givers. But once the characters reach Exalted, the leaders of the Manted Empire make their relationship incredibly clear. Wakener, your deeds have earned you the trust of the Klaxi. You are to be rewarded. Walk with me. We Manted are an elder race. The Pantheran you associate with, they are but children. They have their role to play. Each cycle, our young swarm their walls. The Pantheran slay the weak, the strong return. With each generation, we grow ever stronger. Before your history began, our empire was vast. We shared this world with our sister kingdoms, Ankiraj and Ajol Nerub. Our gods were many and powerful. We mantid worship the seven heads of Yasharaj. Great was the Old One, and terrible was his wrath. He consumed hope and begat despair. He inhaled courage and breathed fear. When the usurpers came, the ones you call Titans, Yasharaj was destroyed. His last terrible breath has haunted this land ever since, but the shadows he left behind are mere whispers of his former glory. I tell you now because you have earned this warning. Your gods are not our gods, outsider. If the Old Ones ever return, we Mantid will once again stand by their side. The wisest among you will do the same. I don't know if I've made it explicitly clear to you, but I do not like you very much. Uh-huh. The Mantid's betrayal would soon come to pass shortly after, when the Mad War Chief Garrosh Hellscream found the heart of Yasharaj and consumed its power. A time will come when you will answer for your crimes. Bitch. The Kalaxi and the Paragons of the Mantid followed the War Chief as their new leader and became hostile to the player characters. I did warn you, Wakener. And are then a raid boss in the Siege of Orgrimmar Raid. Well fought, Wakener. We will meet again. But this isn't the last we saw of the Mantid. In the Battle for Azeroth expansion, the old god Nazoth was released from his prison and attempted to corrupt the whole world of Azeroth. One of the places he hit the hardest was the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and the remaining Mantid pledged themselves to his service. Unfortunately, the actual lore here and their involvement is incredibly small and is just one of the many torrents of story beats in this expansion. But the question is, will we ever find the Mantid again in Warcraft's story? I sure hope so, as the world building, character design, and voice acting are all incredibly unique for the Mantid. They're also a very rare enemy type in WoW that isn't just a two-dimensional antagonist which is just used as cannon fodder for the player character to slaughter. Compare this to an entirely new Mantis-like species introduced in the Dragon Isles called the Scythid. You want to know the story behind these guys? They're territorial and aggressive. Yeah, no, that is literally the only thing on their Wowpedia page. 